Hello there, and welcome back to the Tricraft server using the Daybreaker Horizons 2 mod pack with me, Trionus. So, uh, I've got some rectifications to make. Uh, I've been looking into this Quantum Flux mod, and if you watched the last episode, uh, you know I actually said that uh, they only transmit a uh, hundred RF per tick. I've actually found something out. <laughs> they can actually be upgraded uh, with. Uh, let me just get them. Uh, where well, you need these uh, crystalline redstones, uh, which is just basically smelting redstone, uh, which is easy enough. Uh, uh, you pull them in. Like such, with one of these uh, quiblet crystals, which oh, what's it doing? It's playing me up today. Um, which is a diamond and whatnot. We went through that last time. Uh, and you put some dark stone underneath, and you get these Exeter upgrade things, which are actually rather cool. Uh, so if we can head back up. I keep wanting to go down for some reason but never mind. Uh, I've already used them on these two because now they actually transmit 200 arithmetic. So the first test I want to know is can I put any more on? I can so that's now up to 300 uh, and as you saw all I did was hold it over the Exeter or whatever you want to call these things and you right click and it automatically accepts it. So now this one should be uh, is it this one? Oh, did I actually do the wrong one? Ha! Huh. Yeah, so these two are now are actually transmitting 300 RF per tick, not just the 100 like that one is. And that one is also get 100. So you can actually upgrade them, and I'm stuck. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually fairly pleased I yeah, found that. Uh, so uh, the other thing uh, I have been doing is making solar panels uh, yeah these things the advanced solar generators and as you can see that I've got 15 in there because what I've done this time is actually uh, try to automate it using the RF tools crafter uh, because in crack pack I made eight of them manually and oh my god they are such a nightmare to make believe you me uh so let me just get it up for you so you know these advanced solar panels uh, so you need two enrichment alloys three iron and two solar gen uh two solar generators four solar generators when i can talk sorry uh so uh, but to make the solar generators which is the main problem you need Solar panels, more enrichment alloys, iron, energy tablets, and uh, either smashed or dust osmium. Uh, then the solar panels, glass, panes, uh, another enrichment alloys, redstone. It, it really is a very hard progression system, and I really wish that the mechanism guys would alter it, but it's been in for so long now, I don't think that they will. Uh, and you need four of them. And, it's such a nightmare and this recipe only gives you one solar panel so then you need three of them to make one sort of yeah like I say it really does get on your tits um, so basically what I did I used this which is the RF crafter uh, you may have may remember me using it to make uh, the cobblestone stuff to make uh, the contrable triplets and things like that so I decided to have a go and use it on this so I've got the solar panel all automatically set up, uh, the energy tablets, uh, the solar generators, and then making the advanced solar generators. I know it's only four crafting recipes, but when you're doing it manually, like I say, it really does get to you after a while. Uh, so the main thing that I keep running out of, as you might guess, are these enriched alloys. Uh, so I keep putting these in manually. It is all a, still kind of a manual situation but all the recipe is done automatically. Uh, so what I keep doing is uh, sticking a couple of stacks 
redstone in these guys and because I've been smelting a lot of iron beforehand uh, I can just grab a couple of bits of such iron and stick them in there and like so uh, I really wish I could make it 100% automatic so I could just leave it to run uh, but like I say I've already got 15 so I'm fairly good as it is uh, so what I can actually do is move the glass and stick them in there and boom and we'll stick more in there what are we missing um, solar panels this is the only problem with you've really got to keep an eye on how, what recipes you've actually got in um, I've also got glass and redstone in here so if I put a redstone block it will do it and glass will automatically turn into panes uh, I don't know how I missed that recipe there um, but it doesn't make any difference if you can put them in any order you want and it will still sort itself out which is really cool um so what like i say what am i missing i've got the glass i am low on redstone so there we go that's a little bit of redstone in there uh gold i'm running low on but not too bad uh dust i'm okay on yeah it's just mainly the enriched alloys so how many have we got now 17 there's another two made just by adding them uh, so yeah if you're making these make yourself an auto crafter it will save you uh, a lot of aggravation it's just a case of like I said keeping an eye on what resources you've got and making sure this it's got room for everything uh, it does look like I'm actually lowering a little bit of osmium there as well so let me just stick a stack of osmium in if that helps anything uh, the other main problem is because this is such a small box of resources uh, of inventory space even uh, that when you've got these energy tablets which don't stack which another thing I really wish that they would fix uh, as when they've got no energy in uh, but yeah like I say it, it's a lot lot easier believe you me uh, like I say I've made uh, now 18 getting everything set up I've probably been at this for about an hour so you know it's going to be a lot easier than uh, sorting it out manually and I dare say a few of the triodes could probably uh, admit to that as well talking of the tryhards uh, I'm going to put a link in the description but Mountain Dew Mania has actually made herself a new channel uh, called the Mountain Muse uh, this channel is going to be devoted to some of her poetry. So go and check it out. She's already got one poem already out, but it's not actually on that channel unless she's altered that by the time this video goes out. Uh, so go and check it out. Go and give her some support on it. She's a bit iffy on it because obviously it's her creativity and anyone who wants to put their work out there can be come under bombardment one or the critics but that's how we grow and learn to my mind if you don't have a critic then how do you know how to what to improve and how to go about making yourself better yeah that's me so she's uh, decided to do that which is awesome like I say please give her some support she needs it uh, well she doesn't actually she's more than strong enough to support herself but you know what I mean <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a, a bit of a quick update from me. Uh, I don't really think I've got that much more to do on there. Let's have a look. What else am I missing from here? Sorry, I, I just keep going back to this, I know. Uh, we've got some osmium, redstone, redstone, redstone. Oh so, yeah, like, like I say, this, these recipes are a pain. Just grab some redstone, stick that in there. I've got plenty of redstone, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that had this going for a bit, and there's another. Oh, a few stacks more in there. Uh, oh, just got a little bit more gold in that. Uh, that's one thing that I am actually low on gold. But uh, let's move the glass and stick you in there. Well, that's better. And we'll uh, move another more pains 
There we go, I think we're a bit low on glass. Anything spare? Oh, some more redstone in there. Darn, I forgot about that. Uh, I did try to set an automatic thing so it would pull out directly from this chest, but it still didn't particularly like that. So yeah, that could do with improving the, my side. Uh, how many have we got now? 19. Cool. <laughs> uh, yes, there's actually one more thing that I wanted to show you, something that I've been messing with. Uh, EE3 and these condensers. Um, I don't know how useful it is. Uh, but for anyone who wants to go a little bit more into it, uh, oh sorry, I might as well just use this. Um, let me just run downstairs again. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make use of it. I've got a couple of plans. Might help. But let me grab. Um, where did I put them? Ah, yes, I think they're in this chest here. Right, uh, yeah, there we go. Grab them, grab them. Let me grab a stack of them, and uh, as I'm running low on gold, I'll grab that. And we will grab a couple of chests. Only wanted three, I only wanted two even, I've got three. Um, so let's put this chest here. Uh, let's grab a block. I don't want to use the gold. Change my mind. Uh, basalt. That'll do. Uh, and you can go in there. I'll probably forget that I've put that in there. So remind me. I need any more gold. I'm going to just stick you there for temporarily. And stick you up there. Or we'll become clear in a minute. Uh, because I've been working out if these things can input and output. Okay, uh, so uh, from what I can gather, uh, these things, these condensers, can input on any side apart from the top. Uh, but so they can input on all these sides here. Uh, but for output, and this is why it needs to be up in the air a tiny bit. I'm just get rid of that one. If you, you can only be done from the bottom. So let me just grab that one and that one. And stick you there, that should automatically connect. Cool. Uh so if I grab my book, stick it there, grab the gold, stick it there to make it condense. Uh, we can put the blaze rods in this chest and it will go through into here and as you can see it makes the gold and the gold will come out into this chest. So if you want to make use of that I dare say there's going to be some ways to automate it uh, because one of the thoughts I've had uh, is a blaze farm basically. Uh, you probably use an ender chest if I set up a blaze farm down there, or a couple of blaze farms, uh, then the blaze rods can come up here directly into that. Uh, and these blaze rods are, we have another stack, are equivalent to 1,536 each uh, EMC. Uh, so what's that? That's, that's two, four, that's 16. Uh, so about six would be equal to one diamond, basically. Uh, so yeah, that would help for any sort of production. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd share this little thing here for a little bit more automation and I can get quite a bit of gold. So they're worth about 2,480 ENC. So yeah, it works. Anyway, I'm going to end this little episode here. Uh, only a short one compared to the last one, but I um, uh, hope that it was informative and will help you in production of solar panels and maybe a little bit of condensing in this pack or whatever else you want to do. So, thank you very much for joining me for this little episode and I will see you next time. Bye.